Hey, this is Andrew Guy, and today we're going to be talking about the properties of an experimental design. Basically, how in the world do we set up an experiment? How do scientists do it? How do they come up with all these different ideas, and how do they even carry it out? Don't they get confused? Don't they say, well, what do I do next? Well, I'll tell you something. There's a secret and it's called the scientific method. But I have a really, really, really cool way of getting you to remember that scientific method. Anybody can do it. Once we're finished here, you can be a scientist. You can be thinking like a scientist when we're finished. All right, are you ready? Let's do this. First thing we want to generate is a mnemonic device. A mnemonic device is a memory tool that helps you to understand and to recall information quickly. Um, it's almost like working in chunks. So let's say, for example, I have several words that I want to remember. All I would do is take the first letter of those words and then take those letters and organize it into a phrase or a catchphrase that I can remember anytime. Okay? So, uh, first of all, I'm going to write down what these letters are and then explain to you what they, where they came from. Okay? So, come on. Here we go. The first one is going to be O. And then I put two dots in it to represent, well, my eyes. A little bit big, so I can see, okay? So that's observation. We observe things every day. That's observation, the first letter. The next one is not a letter, but it's actually a symbol. It's a question sign. So we got to observe something, and then we ask a question, okay? Then after we ask a question, we want to form what is called a hypothesis. And a lot of people say, what is an hypothesis? A lot of people have said, well... It's an educated guess. Wrong. It's not an educated guess because we're all educators. If we're all doctors and lawyers, um, scientists and physicists, just walking around and guessing, that wouldn't be practical, would it? But a hypothesis in this case, when it lends itself to scientific knowledge, is really a question that is testable. A question that is testable, that is basically what a real hypothesis is. Because you can test it. Okay? Alright. So we have a hypothesis, and then after we have to carry out the experiment. After we carry out the experiment, we got to do an analysis. And then after we do that, we have to arrive at a conclusion. Are we finished? No. The next thing that we have to do, we have to communicate our results. This is where I have this, and it says, tell it. There is two parts to tell. So we're going to just use two parts today. You can do a research paper or you can write a report. Okay? So I'm going to put report here and then I'm going to put paper here. So tell it. So let's, let's come up with our mnemonic device. A mnemonic device is going to be called OPEC. Exactly. OPEC. That's our mnemonic device. So whenever you think about the scientific method, it is called OHEC. O, the question mark is silent, and then we have the H, and the A is silent, so we have OHEC. Tell it, one, two. Can you say that with me? OHEC, tell it, one, two. OHEC, tell it, one, two. OHEC. Tell it, one, two. Number one is my report. Number two is my research paper. So now you know the scientific method and how to set up an experiment or the properties of an experimental design. Now you're smarter than you were two and a half minutes ago. All right? This is Andrew Guy. Want to make science a little bit more practical. Take care and stay tuned for our next video when we're going to do a sample design to show you how an experiment should look and what it should have in it. All right? Take care. Until then. Bye.